Okay, guys, as I was uh, reviewing uh, my channel status, so to speak, yesterday uh, and today, it kind of occurred to me there there's a place where I could provide some, let's call it educational assistance. So where, where I'm going is I'm going to start up a, a channel, not a channel, a, a video stream. A group of videos and the group of videos is basically going to be let's call it lower cost evs so for example i and part of so if you know who i am you know i'm sort of a tesla let's call it bigot i hate to say that word say it that way because i don't want to be seen i don't want you to see it a negative way but if you push me, I will, and, and I've said it before, I personally don't understand why people aren't buying Teslas, right? I heard a story about a guy who bought a Mercedes. <gasps> oh, it's a luxury car. Okay, what happened when you got to the EA station? You couldn't charge it. Now, I think in this case, it was the car's fault, not the charger's fault which I was kind of stunned to hear that, but okay, there you go. And he's going, oh, I'm, no, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going back to gas. No, 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 no. Now, he's a guy who believes in having an EV. But like I said, why why did you buy a Mercedes? If you're traveling across, and so he he makes trips, um, what, from basically the Phoenix area out to like Los Angeles, stuff like that. A family trips. So, for some reason, he felt like he couldn't buy a Tesla. Although, from the description I heard on the video, a Model X would have fit his life. Found sounds like it would have fit his lifestyle and his needs perfectly. But some people feel like Teslas are not luxury cars. Okay. And then to to hammer home this point. Okay, if your car is stuck in the parking lot at a Walmart, and you'll find a lot of uh, Electrify America stations are at Walmart, um, and you're stuck there for hours, and Walmart is below your economic level, so to speak, did you get luxury? Okay, whatever. To me, it's pretty obvious he got hung up on, on on other things that he thought were important and didn't think about his trips. Okay, so he's going. He's, he's looking for a plug-in hybrid. So at least he can do electric when he's driving around home, but he has the gas to drive long distances. Okay. Yes, I have driven through Phoenix on my way to Los Angeles in my Model Y. Now, would the Model Y have worked for him? Possibly, but it would be below his station. The Model X would have been more appropriate. Okay. So, but what I'm saying is I want to create, I want to look at creating a series of videos where the point is what, how, how, Ah, I'm just tripping on my words. I'm looking for a relatively low cost EV. What choices do I have? Now, part of what prompted me to do this was I was I was checking a Tesla inventory. They have a Tesla Model 3, brand new. I mean, it may have been sitting on a lot for a while, but it's relatively new. It's blue. It's the base level Model 3, 37,300, something like that. Wow. Now, it won't qualify for the 7,500 tax credit, but who knows? I mean, once you start getting to that point, it all depends upon where you are and what your situation is. So I'm not going to go into that. I'm just going to list the base price. So anyway, the point of this list is, to show the various vehicles that you could pick from 
and try to give an idea of where it fits in and why you might buy it. Okay? So that's where I'm going. Um, if you have any thoughts along these lines, I'd love to hear it. Um, part, part of me, part of it was prompted by the number of people who have viewed the VinFast VF3 video that I put up. I mean, that was an incomplete walk around of the car that was there, but wow. So people are looking for these options. Now, if maybe once I get to towards the bottom of the list of cars that I can look at, I might start looking at what used cars are reasonable in my area. Because I'll tell you, I came across the Chevy Bolt for uh, $14,000. I don't even remember where it was. I just know it was there. Now, it said open recall, so it needs some recall work. But the idea between behind these series of videos is to have you thinking about a what options could you pursue? What seems reasonable, what doesn't? I mean, the Nissan Leaf, I always saw it as a city car. My, I had two friends that had Nissan Leafs. Um, but it was a cool car. My friend, my the one friend who was driving was like, well, it was cool. I just whip it around and all this stuff. So he was having a good time with it. It's just, you have to know that you can only go so far. Okay. Um, and I'm not sure at the time I was working. Well, actually, I, was, I lived much closer to Austin. In fact, I lived basically on the border of Austin. So it probably could have done the trip into work and back. But that would have been right at the limit. Right? And who wants to pay that much money for a car that you can't even really use for everything? But I was, I was, I was, I was stuck in the ice world. And I was having a hard time seeing the EV world at that time. Now, now, now I look at an EV like, Okay, how far can I go? Can I get the job done? So anyway, whatever. That's where this series is going to go. Um, I so like I said, it's going to start off with a oh, the Tesla Model Three uh, rear wheel drive, um, and then we'll go from there. Like the Volvo EX30 isn't out yet, and I'm not sure when it'll come out. Um, so I'm kind of struggling with who who would show up here. But the limit is it has to be under $40,000. Okay, whatever. So this is your invitation. If you have suggestions on how to go about this, I'd love to hear them. Now, I've already kind of laid it out. Um, I'm just, I'm in the process of trying to document what it is I'm going to do. Because um, there are some things that are very important to me and some things like they're important to me, but would they be important to you? Right? I mean, would it be important that you can fit five people in a car? Well, if you're driving to work and back, probably not. It's not that critical. Um, and the same thing with like, well, let's say it's a 50 mile round trip. Okay. I mean, you don't need that much range if that's all you're doing. So anyway, I, I, I'll, I'll, Try to sort out what I'm going to do. I'll, I'll throw up another video and then we'll go from there. But please, if you have, if you have anything that you think is important in, in evaluating a car, uh, especially a low cost car, I'd like to hear it. Anyway, onward, upward, charge.